would have said, oh, I am so tired. I have to go home. I got to have a warm milk and a little teddy bear. And I want to go see me. I can't stay away. I want to go home. Oh, no. 
Hall. That's right. So, Mark, what, where, you, where are you from? You're from here? No, I'm from upstate New York. Upstate New York? What city? Um, Gilderland, just outside Albany. Oh, I don't know where that is. <laughs> um, okay, so that sounds exciting, but what do you do for a living? I'm a computer geek. A computer geek. Well, for right now, you have to be a prepubescent girl. Okay. Well, not prepubescent, a pubescent girl. So, um, if I call you Bonnie, because she's in high school. There you go, stick them out. Yeah, that kind of looks the same as hers, yeah. Now, um, so you're going to be Bonnie, but it, I, this is one of the things I don't have to do. It's just one that I do because I'm so darn nice. Whenever I see someone less fortunate than I, and let's face it, who is it? Less fortunate than I am, my tender heart tends to start to bleed. And when someone needs a makeover, I simply have to take over. I know exactly what they need. And even in your case, though it's the toughest case I'm yet to face, don't worry.
welcome everyone. What a fantastic open house we've had. I'd like to give a shout out to all the people in the main salon. <laughs> I'd like to say hi to the people on the street. Losers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think we're all very happy we're in here at my what a glorious open house. Uh, who's been here since six o'clock? Okay, you're the problem, first off. Uh, so, those of you that are going to be here all night, uh, you probably saw the Baldur Dash Cup, and uh, I didn't uh, actually uh, win that uh, issue. I know, I know, it was shocking. Uh, because some jerk from Ohio won. Uh, no, it wasn't Chuck We can't afford Chuck Who's I'm the adventurer of the year. Yeah, yeah. What I'm a snake handler, shut up. Uh, yeah, and he won with his hobby of training pigeons. My, what, uh, what a hobby that was. I'm very impressive, young man. All your Thank pigeons. You, Mr. Red. It took me years. Yeah, because really, what else do you have? Uh, you know, if actually, if maybe if I shared my hobby with people, uh, I might have had it. Next year's open house, I'm going to get ready and start canvassing early. I'm going to sing to you. My favorite hobby in song. Fingers! <laughs> this is the happy face. Spring is here! Spring is here! Life is skittles and life is near! I get the loveliest time of the year! Is the spring? I do, don't you? Of course you do, even though it's autumn. But there's one thing that makes spring complete for me And makes every Sunday a treat for me I swallowed, sorry All the world is in tune On a spring afternoon When we're poisoning pigeons in the park And every Sunday you'll see My sweetheart and me As we poison the pigeons in the park when they see us coming, the birdies all try and hide. But they still go for peanuts when coated with cyanide. <laughs> the sun shining bright, everything seems alright when we're poisoning pigeons in the park. Uh, we've gained notoriety and caused much anxiety in the Audubon Society with our games. Ooh, they call it even piety. And lack of propriety and quite a variety of unpleasant names But it's not against any religion To want to dispose of a pigeon <laughs> So if someday you're free Why don't you come with me And we'll poison the pigeons in the market Who and maybe we'll do it a squirrel or two While we poison We'll murder them all up in laughter and merriment. Ooh, except for the few we take home to experiment. <laughs> you laugh, but that's Sunday's dinner. <laughs> My pulse will be quickened with each drop of strength that we feed to the pigeons. It just takes the spigots to poison the pigeons and the pot. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome to the stage my mother Grace. Gentlemen, I know you won't believe it, but the dashing man that I am sometimes have a problem with relationships. Oh, I oh. Oh. And recently I had a very rocky relationship, and well, Fingers and I were talking about it, and I wrote a song, and Fingers wrote the music for it, so here it is. <laughs> I never knew. Our love affair had ended 
until that bottle hit my head. And I tried to stay aloof when you pushed me off the roof. I think our romance is dead. I never knew our love affair had ended until you poisoned my food. And I thought you had real sass when you kicked me in the backside. I, now I think that was rude. Now it wouldn't have been so bad if you had told me that someone had taken my place. But no, you didn't even scold me. You just tried to disfigure my face. You will never know how my poor heart is aching. I get so helpless and then our love used to be so placid. Won't you please put down that acid and say that we're sweethearts again. heard enough from the serving staff tonight. I know I've sung one song, and why don't we ask for Beulah to sing another? Seizure if you need to. I'm 
Okay, good. Okay, because I like those whole Joe's beds where you put the quarters in and then just vibrates. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's like sitting on the washing machine. Okay. Now, you know you've done it. Uh, so anyway, it was a blustery day, and if you don't know what blustery is, you haven't been reading enough Winnie the Pooh, have you? No. It was a very windy day, so all of a sudden a piece of newspaper came up and flapped me in the side of the leg. Don't need to be the news. Hello, good afternoon. Myself, even though I'm wearing this rather 
Dashing up it. Um, I'm sorry, Grant, you're wearing a what? Dashing up it. Um, impeccably dressed up. Impeccably. Um, sorry about that. Um, there is one thing missing from these outfits. The <laughs> hey, Cobra Man, hey, Dark Man, you both got your style, but rather you're never fully dressed without a smile. Smile, <laughs> so I'm so ready, move on the lead. They stand out a mile, but rather you're never fully dressed without a smile. <laughs>
myself to actually. Uh, uh, I've just been asked by <clears throat> club president Pamelia Perkins. Yes. To take a year long sabbatical. Yeah, yes, yeah, she's sending me around the world. Oh. I don't know what she means by that, but apparently she only bought me one ticket, which is not good because now my wife Fanny Hodges can't join me. Oh, oh I know, I know. Lucky me. Yes, I'm gonna have to leave. Fanny, get back tomorrow. I'm gonna have to kiss my Fanny goodbye. Oh, you know, if any of you guys see her, you can kiss her goodbye too. So. You must be very limber, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You see her around here, she's got two nice plump rosy cheeks. <laughs> so you go ahead and squeeze my fanny's cheeks, okay? She loves that. <laughs> uh, but uh, you just put her behind you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I didn't know she was still here. I, I didn't know that she got back. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> this baby got back. My fanny got back. Yeah, my fanny got back. <laughs> The drawback of going on this tour is the fact that I'm the little old. I don't like that. I always wind up the weirdest of the neighbors. In fact, before I moved down to the basement here at, uh, at the Adventurers Club, yes, I actually lived in a, a two-story apartment. I lived on the bottom floor, and of course, hmm, above me lived a musician. No! I know! Paris the thought They are the worst. Oh, and so I finally had it with this loud, noisy, rock of musician. I went up to my landlord. <clears throat> oh, yes. Fletcher, Fletcher does have a backbone. And this is what I said to him. I gotta move. I gotta move. That's what I told my landlord. <laughs> He goes a rumble, rumble, rumble on the left hand. He goes a tinkle, tinkle, tinkle on the right. Rumble, 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 tinkle, 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 plays piano all night. He goes a rumble, 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 rumble on the left hand. He goes a tinkle, tinkle, tinkle on the right. Rumble, 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 rumble,
Fletcher. Fletcher, of course, will be curating here for the final time this evening. Fletcher. Oh, that's right. So Fletcher Hodges, let's hear it. He's going back somewhere else. Oh, well, yes, obviously we have several. I can't remember. Thank you so much. Danny won't mind. My family loves you. Good for him. <laughs> well, adventure. Woo! I know. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> and I thought I'd give a little song to him. No. Yes. <laughs> Do you have me? Do you have me? <laughs> a little ditty. <laughs> for the first time ever. So all <laughs> You just you just tell me what. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll miss you with that. I'm your little ditty. Yes, you are. <laughs> Dust bombing. <laughs> Indeed, Yvette's just one of the many women I've touched. <laughs> and has in turn touched me. <laughs> so to all the women who I've touched over the years, and in turn have touched me. No. Sorry, you were scaring the hell out of me then. This guy just got up out of nowhere, and I'm like, look, unless you're wearing a wig and I was drunk, I'm sorry. <laughs> First time, you know. I mean, seven million women, only one Hathaway Brown. You know, God, don't feel sorry for me, it's awesome. <laughs> so here's just a little thought. In the months when I'm back at Ma and Papa's estate in Surrey. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. No, I'm not sorry. It's in Surrey. So don't be sorry. It's in Surrey. Sorry? No, sorry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So in the months when we're all adventuring elsewhere, this is the letter. If I had the time to write seven million mash notes, <laughs> I haven't got that kind of penmanship. I'm not very good at cursing. I'll write you one later. So, adventurous ladies in the months, remember this as a letter to you from me, Hathaway Brown. Dear, I thought I'd drop a line. The weather's cool. The folks are fine. I'm in bed each night at nine. P.S. I love you. Yesterday we had some rain, but all in all, I can't complain. I just bought a brand new plane P.S. I love you Write to the Browns just as soon as you're able They came around to call And I burned a hole in the dining room table And let me see I guess that's all Nothing else to tell you, dear Except each day Feels like a year I'll be always thinking of you P.S. I love you Nothing else for me to say And so I'll close But by the way Every night 
I'm dreaming of you. Are you ready for some more fun at the hoopla? 
Yes, everybody. Look at our peace, each and every one of you. Tell the ladies something else about me, please stay back. No. And if you don't know, get out for no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Ladies, I don't land well. 70% of me's prosthetic. So if you can find my own 30, girls, I'll let you sign it. Thank you. 